Hi, and welcome to Rooted in Essential Oils. My name is Famous, and welcome to this video. Today, we're going to be talking about what you can support your body with when it comes to fevers. We all know that fevers will happen, whether you have kiddos or even in your work environment or just in general, fevers do happen. Sickness will come your way. No matter what you do to try to prevent it, it happens to the best of us. So here are some things that I like to use on a daily basis. But before we get into that, what is a fever? Do you know what it is? So a fever is something that happens within inside the body. So your immune system is basically trying to fight off the infection that is inside your body. And this usually shows up in symptoms like hot and cold flashes. So most of the time you'll see your temperature rise. And anytime it goes above 100 degrees Fahrenheit, then you're really having a fever. These things can be fought off um, with over-the-counter medication or you can fight it off with natural plant-based products. If it's over 104 degrees, I would definitely seek doctor's advice. But just a disclaimer, I am not a doctor, I am not a nurse, I am nothing in the medical field, but what I can tell you is my experience. I have experienced fevers myself, and I also have a six-year-old who experiences fevers as well, because sickness is prone to little kiddos who touch and feel and put things in their mouth and just really don't have a care for the world when it comes to germs and they are prone to sickness. So to fight off these infections, this is what we use in our daily lifestyle. But also when fevers do occur, we like to boost up and stay on top of using plant-based products for our everyday needs. So for the first one, we always, always drink our Ninja Red. This is on the website and it's a really great supplement that can support your body in so many different ways like immune support, which is the number one response to fighting off an infection, but also it's great for gut, it's great for eyesight, it's great for bone structure, blood flow, just so many great things. This is an antioxidant, so um, antioxidants will fight off free radicals and free radicals form from oxidized stress levels. We all go through things through life and it happens to the best of us. So fighting off those infections, those things that come our way, antioxidants will definitely do it for you. And Ninja Red is the number one thing that I would recommend to any and everyone to start their supplement. This is a supplement, it's made from wolf berries, which is the berries on front of this pouch, but it also has fruits from like concentrate, like blueberry, pomegranate, sweet cherry, plum, and it does have some infusion from essential oils like lemon, yazoo, orange, and tangerine. So all of those are really great combinations to fight off some things that may come your way. So Ninja Red is also number. another pro tip when when it comes to Ninja Red is you can put this in a freezer and make a popsicle out of it. So when a fever does come your way, you can fight it off when it happens by just eating a Ninja Red popsicle and it will fight off that infection. But it is also going to lower your temperature because it is cold. I would also recommend this essential oil. This is called Melrose. So Melrose is really good for reducing a fever temperature. All you have to do is just put this directly on your spine. You can drip it on your spine. You can put it on the bottom of your feet. You can put it on your chest or neck area on the thyroid. The thyroid is really good when it comes to um, dropping temperatures, but also just using this every 15 to 30 minutes until that temperature drops. Will it take that fever away? No, but it will reduce the temperature. Using Melrose is going to do that, and it really does work. I've done it myself. 
several times on my son. Not so much on me because I don't get fevers as often, but my son has and it really does work. So this is a staple in the house and we will never go without Melrose. So we all know when it comes to fevers, we need to take more vitamin C. Vitamin C is really key to fighting off infections or just any kind of bacteria or germs inside of our body. And Super C will do that. So this is a natural form of Super C or vitamin C. Um, it's high in antioxidants, which was also in the Ninja Red that I just spoke about. But this is really good and key to supporting your immune system. It's going to do exactly what it does. And this one is a plant-based form of it. So you're not getting like a synthetic or something that was man-made, if you will. Yes, it is a pill form, but it's more natural than what you can get from other vitamin C's that are out there in the grocery stores. So get you some vitamin C. Super C. So another key element to fighting off a fever is bringing in a lot of fluids. And hopefully you can do like orange juice, but also getting electrolytes back into your body. Because when you have a fever, you're going to have aches, you're going to have pains, you're going to have those hot and cold flashes, and your body is really trying to fight off an infection. So bringing in more fluids, preferably water with electrolytes, is definitely going to be a key point when it comes to fighting off fevers. So there is young living vitality drops. These are natural forms of electrolytes. So yes, you can drink Gatorade and there's plenty of other things that you can drink that have electrolytes, but this is a more natural. It tastes pretty good. Um, this one is a grapefruit bergamot flavor, so doesn't taste bad at all. I really like this one. Um, use it a lot during the summer, but when we have fevers, we want to bring in those electrolytes and this is going to do it. This has no dyes or coloring to it. And that's another thing with those Gatorades and Powerades is they have a lot of dyes in them or things that you don't want to be drinking during a fever. Some people think Pedialyte is a really great thing to drink during a fever to bring in those electrolytes, but it's not the greatest and I wouldn't recommend that. But I would recommend this. And again, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, I am nothing in the medical field. But if you read the ingredients to like Pedialyte or Gatorade, you'll see that there are so many things in them that are just not great to fight off fevers or help in that manner. But this is. All natural. But that is all I have for you for this video. I do appreciate you taking the time to listen and... Maybe you can take advantage of ordering you some plant-based products that will support you when a fever or even a common cold will come your way. And we are in the fall season, so, you know, things come our way and we want to stay ready and not have to get ready. But until next time, as I always like to say, pay for your health now or pay for your sickness later. Till next time, bye for now. Love you.